Hey guys, Tom Zhang here. Today I'm making a short, quick video on this application called Beam for iPad. It's made by Microsoft. Um, and Bing probably is very familiar with you guys already. You know, you have Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Um, even though Bing is probably not your preferred search engine, it's one of the top three. So anyways, just a few days ago they've released a native application for the iPad. Um, so I thought I'd give it a test run. And um, for those of you who use iPhone and iPod, they also have a native iPhone and iPod version as well, so be sure to look for that. Um, and, you know, just some quick words. Uh, this application is actually very nice. It ut utilizes the full resolution that your iPad 1 or iPad 2 uh, will allow you to use. It has voice uh, features, so you can use your voice to search for things. But unlike um, the iPad, the, uh, iPhone version, you will not be able to use your uh, camera front or rear to uh, take a picture and search for things online as you would with the iPhone and iPod version. So anyways, there is a lot of small features in here, so make sure you guys go go and uh, look into it. I will post these small features inside the YouTube description. Um, I will not be able to go over all of them, so make sure you guys uh, take a look at that. And here are just some uh, generic pictures that uh, Microsoft has posted. Um, it's basically what the application looks like. It's the main interface. If you've used um, the iPhone and iPod version, uh, it's very similar to it, um, except it lacks um, take a picture um, with your rear or front facing camera as you would with the iPhone and iPod version. Um, so without further ado, let me go ahead and fire up the application. And do notice this application runs in the landscape mode. Also in portrait, if you flip it over, um, I actually like it in the portrait mode, but for the sake of this video, I'll use it in landscape. And so, first thing you'll notice, it's um, you know, it's basically Bing. It's um, it's got the uh, icon right here. It's got the uh, iconic uh, uh, wallpaper in the back. So, uh, you know, here down here, there's a few columns. You know, it's divided into a few sections: weather, news, maps movies and trend and also finance if you uh, are into day trading. Um, so anyways, do you know this when you search the web you have two options whether you can you know type in the word itself like Tom Zhang dot US um, or you can like speak into it you know say I want to look for iPad 2 iPad 2 and it came up as tattoo but anyways you guys can go ahead and uh, try that on your own they're still optimizing their uh, voice servers so um, hopefully soon they'll get much more accurate re results but if you're not happy with the voice feature with this application you can you can always download the google search application um, which in my opinion is much better so anyways getting back to um, this application you know it has you know these columns you can search the web images local and also I'm on a MiFi right now so it's not loading as fast as it would um, so bear with me here and here you can also select you know the categories which I think could be a little redundant for this application but um, keep in mind they're still working on the application so uh, hopefully with the future updates it will become much more easy to navigate through this as you would with the Google uh, search application um, and here in the settings you can you know optimize your safe search you know if you got a uh, you know, underage kid around, you might want to change that. You track your search history. If you have like a Hotmail account or anything like that, you can always link to your Hotmail account. And, you know, all of these little minute features, I'll let, I'll let you guys go ahead and, you know, play with that on your own. So, anyways, overall, this application is, you know, pretty nice. Um, coming from Microsoft, you know, you can't really expect that much from Microsoft nowadays. Um, but, you know, hopefully with the Windows 8 that are coming out, um, that will change, you know, the opinions quite a bit. So, anyways, guys, that was just a really quick um, preview or review or wh whatever you call it um, of being for iPad. You can get it for your iPad, iPad 2, uh, for free. So, 
and it's only 8 megabytes for those of you who are on the 3G data plan. So anyways guys, I really enjoyed it. Please go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, add me on Facebook. Um, so until next, next time guys, uh, I'll see you guys here at TomZane.us. Thanks.